there is something about the Milton Coolini that's very different. So I think it's the land where we're producing the grass that feeds the cows, that produces the milk, that actually makes it so different. Breda Mara and co-owner of Coolini Farm with my husband Jim. Farm actually goes back, this is the fourth generation. Uh, our son Pat is farming now, Jim, his father and his uncle before that. Why do I do, I, I love what I do because I was bred to do it, I think, you know. And I think it's easier to do it when it's something you were born into. So grassland management is extremely important. Our cheeses are made from grass-fed cows, you know, so that'd be very important. That's my main priority every day that the cows are fed and happy with a grass-based diet. When we started the cheese first, everything was done by hand in two stainless steel buckets. That was the day one. So we moved gradually, step by step, as the business grew. We got filling machines, better vats, turning machines, you know, automatic brining. And last year, the love of our life, a wrapping machine. Here in Kundini, we pride ourselves in being the best we possibly can at cheese making. Our cheese making team are fully trained, hugely passionate about what they do and take great pride in producing a consistent product on every production batch. We love doing business with Palace. It's been a great company to work with, you know, and I think as the years go on and as the business evolves, it's been better and better all the time. They give us great opportunities, lots of training opportunities with their team and with their staff. They allow you out with their customers to meet the customers, introduce cheeses to the customers. So they've been quite a pleasure doing business with. And I remember the cheese starting in uh, 85, 86, um, in the back kitchen in the house. Then it was a small business. It just grew from into the one shed and then into another and it got bigger and bigger and more customers came on and then more staff came on to help um, get through the business. And where it is today, you know, there's uh, 12 or 15 people here every day. It's been a brilliant, uh, cycle to, to watch going around and, and lovely it's great to see it moving on going forward the fact that uh, the family is still here doing the same thing 30 years later customers like to see that you know and you actually get more support from your customers by con still being there and doing consistently a good job every day you know? but it's always lovely to grow something it's always lovely to see something happening it's always lovely to see that seed develop um, so it has been great pleasure during the years. It's great to be part of a family farm which has come down to generations and obviously those who went before us had a great pride in their milk production and their dairy industry. It's been a wonderful pleasure. <laughs>